Good morning, MesosCon. Did you all have a good time so far? Yes, sir. Did you have fun at the town halls and other dinners, events last night? Awake tomorrow morning or still asleep? Okay, <laughs> let's slowly wake up before the main tracks are starting. So while I'm talking, it's time to wake up before you have to be awake for the keynotes. Uh, my name is Jörg Schad. I've been with Mesosphere for almost three years by now. I started out as like a core developer, so coding on the core Mesos is why I'm really excited to be at MesosCon, seeing all the great tech around Mesos evolving. And since about half a year when I relocated to San Francisco, I'm more a developer advocate, so I also helped organizing this event. And this is also why it's so great to see so many people being here and coming all of this coming together in such great events. Thank you all for being here. Um, that's actually those last three days. It's already day three of MesosCon. It's amazing. It's, it's been moving pretty quickly. So let's have a short recap of what was actually going on on the last three days. On Wednesday, we started out with a hackathon. Short raise of hands. Who was there at the hackathon? Yes, I seen some hands. Uh, it was really amazing uh, what I took away from this hackathon. Usually at a hackathon, we're all focusing on like core topics where we want to get code into Apache Mesos or some cool demo framework around, which was also happening on Wednesday. But what I really enjoyed is that a lot of focus was put on like user experience. We had a bunch of people who were writing, de uh, who were writing documentation, who were writing UI improvements, which actually helps all of us who are using uh, Mesos to either understand the documentation or the cool features which are in Mesos better, or also use the UI and hence visualize better what we are actually using there. So that I found like an amazing outcome of this hackathon, just make it all more usable, make it more approachable also for people who might be new to the community. Then uh, yesterday we actually started out with the keynotes. And the one keynote which I remember most is actually the Kubernetes keynote because for me this was a pretty exciting announcement as well. Um, and seeing all the work around it, I actually I worked back when we started off with Kubernetes, I also worked on the first Kubernetes version. And uh, so it's really cool to see it right now. How many of you participated in that survey we are just seeing here? Almost all of you, cool. So we actually we had some really fun user agents when we looked at the results later on. First of all, it was nice to see, just also by the show of hands, how many of you were participating. And we actually we had to scale the agents in the background to more containers to uh, accommodate all the workload you guys were creating. So that was pretty amazing to see. Then looking at the different user agents, it's actually Considering the war iPhone uh, versus Android here, Android is still winning. And so let's see how that will change next year. And actually, Ross, who's going to give another keynote later on, he was probably this one person who used his Windows phone, or? <laughs> so uh, that was pretty cool to see. Some people uh, tried to hack us here, trying to see how they can play with the user agents, uh, or came up with some other funny uh, user agents. Uh, so we actually we had fun last night checking that out. So that was cool to see. The other keynotes, they were also really amazing. I really enjoyed the different panels, just hearing from different people. And also looking back on the different tracks yesterday, this was kind of like what I took out of it. There were a lot of great technical talks. But yesterday, there was a focus on actually user experience and uh, sharing uh, what, ex uh, yeah, what experiences we have made, what tips we can share. Uh, so basically running Mesos in like production environments, hearing uh, what use cases that enabled, that was kind of like this key takeaway for me yesterday uh, across the keynotes, across the keynote panels, and then also across the different uh, sessions. So that I found really amazing. Um, also yesterday, we had the university session. How many of you attended one of those university sessions? So, yeah, also many people actually, yes. And this is also 
from sitting in the room. It was amazing. We didn't anticipate so many people to join. We had some network problems pulling down Docker containers because it was just so many people. But that's also learning for us. Like next year, we're just going to have more access points or come up with a different way. But it was amazing to see so many people being excited to learn about it and then actually also staying and doing stuff. So seeing people interact with Mesos, interact with DCOS. Uh, this is always for me working on it. It's pretty nice to see. Uh, in the evening, we then had the town halls, and the town halls was really focused on community. We wanted to uh, bring together the different communities because mostly we're communicating via Slack, via mailing list, and MesosCon is always this opportunity to bring everyone together and actually communicate in person. I was at the DCS town hall, and we had amazing discussions. We actually we were almost kicked out. Uh, later on because we were staying so late. So uh, that was really a vibrant discussion and thanks for everyone being here. And thanks is actually a pretty good uh, keyword. So I would like to thank all the sponsors who have made this event possible. So uh, Mesosphere, Verizon as the platinum sponsors and then uh, EMC Code as the gold sponsors and the many silver sponsors who are also here really making this possible. And most of them, they're actually also contributing to the entire ecosystem around. So it's not just thank you for sponsoring this event, but for contributing actually to this great community. Then if we're uh, at this topic, I would also like to thank the entire team who has made this possible, especially Linux Foundation. We have worked over the last weeks a lot with them and uh, really thank you so much for making this event possible. For all the people in the background, uh, taking care of audio, taking care of video uh, and all the technical setups, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for the team organizing it, both at from Mesosphere and anyone else who was involved. And most of all, thank you, community. We had so many contributions. This is also why it took so long to come up with the schedule. We spent numerous hours just reading through all these great proposals, and we were almost crying because we had to leave so many great proposals out. So this was really amazing to see. And also, thank you for reviewing community. So it's really great to see how this community is coming together and also bringing in content for this event. So that was really exciting. Thank you so much.